Hey, this is Al from Indian Line Farm. I wanted to make a video to show other farmers and anybody else who might find it useful how to use a therm alarm to set up a siren. Uh, we're in southwest corner of Massachusetts and we, uh, we grow vegetables in the spring. This is a siren and uh, here's my video. Evening temperatures here are still falling uh, below freezing and uh, we like to keep for these uh, tomatoes we like to keep our temperatures up around or close to 60 degrees fahrenheit so if the temperatures fall much below that uh, the plants will suffer so we have this uh, therm alarm device which is uh, basically a uh, magnetic switch it's actually two magnetic switches they're called reed switches in here there's one for the low temperature set here at about 50 degrees and one for the high temperature set here at about 90 degrees. The siren is a uh, 12 volt uh, siren. It's a model SA15RP made by Speco, S-P-E-C-O. Uh, I think we purchased it at Farm Tech a number of years ago. And it has um, basically a positive and a negative wire that come uh, from the siren the positive wires can be uh, alternated depending on the tone that you want the siren to produce. We have it set, I believe, on a warbling pattern, uh, but you can also set it up for a straight tone. This wire is unused. Because the, uh, the power consumed by the siren is in excess of the rated capacity of the thermal alarm switch, we have to use a 12-volt uh, relay. This is an automotive relay that you can pick up on uh, Amazon or at your uh, hardware store. I picked up a pack of five of these for about 12 bucks. So uh, they're very inexpensive. They're uh, rated for uh, 30 slash 40 amps of uh, 12 volt current. So they're, they're high capacity relays. In this case, we don't need much capacity, but, um, but it doesn't hurt to have it. For several years, we uh, supplied power to the siren using a 12-volt automotive battery. But this year, I realized that we have an outlet here. We've got a service panel and an outlet with 120 volts uh, supply here. And um, I realized that I could get a, a standard uh, transformer, 120-volt uh, AC by 12-volt uh, DC output uh, wall plug and plug it in here at the box and give us a source of power. Uh, so what I've done is I cut the, uh, the plug ends off that wire and I've got the, uh, using a mul multimeter, I've uh, identified the positive side of the output wire and the negative side of the output wire. The positive side of the output wire is connected via this red cable to terminal number 30 on the relay. This is the incoming constant uh, 12 volt supply. The positive side of the transformer outlet is also connected to one of the two leads that goes to the thermal alarm. It doesn't matter which of the two leads as um, this is just a switch and it doesn't matter what direction it flows through. The uh, thermal alarm effectively just provides continuity from one lead to the other. Okay, the, um, the other side of the thermal alarm um, is uh, connected to this yellow wire, which runs into the um, uh, terminal number 86 on, the, on this relay. Terminal number 86 is the uh, low power uh, side of the relay. The relay is basically designed to, to make a very low power circuit uh, trigger uh, a higher powered circuit, in this case the siren. Now on the uh, transformer output uh, on the negative side, we've got the, uh, the wire coming from the transformer here. That's connected to, uh, to our relay as well. That connects in here at uh, terminal number 85, which is the negative or ground side of the relay. It's also wire nutted together such that it supplies the negative power to our siren. 
Now, when the contacts on the thermal arm close, the way the relay works is that uh, that closed circuit provides uh, power to uh, through this yellow cable to the relay. And at that moment, it pulls magnetically, it pulls a switch closed and closes power to this remaining uh, wire, to this blue wire. The blue wire is uh, terminal number 87. Um, and that is connected here to our, this is supplying power to the siren. This is the positive lead to the siren. I've got this wired up and connected up here. So that's basically all of the wiring. There is one more wire inside of this relay, which is at terminal 87A. It's this white wire that you can see here that it's, uh, it's not connected to anything and doesn't need to be. Uh, that wire would be used if, uh, when, when the relay contacts are, uh, are switched, um, uh, that uh, white wire would not have power anymore. So uh, those contacts on the white wire are normally closed and the, uh, the contacts on the blue wire are normally open. Well, that's it. I hope this is helpful to you. And here's a little demo. Best of luck.